Star Wars is getting ready to explore a new galaxy in an upcoming show called Skeleton Crew. This means we might see more adventures beyond the usual places we know. In Ahsoka, they introduced travel between galaxies, and now Skeleton Crew might take it even further. The show could bring in new ways to travel between these galaxies, and there's a chance it might include ideas from the older Star Wars stories known as Legends. Actor Jude Law is set to play a key role in Skeleton Crew, which is expected to come out around the end of 2024. The upcoming Skeleton Crew series in Star Wars is about four kids who find something mysterious on their home planet and end up lost in a different, dangerous galaxy. The interesting part is that these kids might not be from the Star Wars galaxy we know. They could be from their own galaxy and get stuck in the Star Wars one. This means they'll encounter things like Jedi, Imperial Remnant, and New Republic, which are familiar to us but new to them. In the footage shown at Star Wars Celebration 2023, the kids start on an Earth-like planet and end up in this action-packed galaxy. <laughs> guided by Jude Law's character, who might be a former Jedi. This adds a cool twist after Ahsoka explored another galaxy. In Star Wars, there are two main ways to travel between galaxies. First, there are these special star whales called Pergil that can jump through hyperspace. Ahsoka and others have used them to explore different galaxies. For example, Ezra and Thrawn ended up in Peridia using these star whales. However, it's unlikely that Star Wars will only stick to these whales or Thrawn's ship for intergalactic travel. With the upcoming Skeleton Crew, where kids get lost in the Star Wars galaxy, it seems they won't use Star Whales or Thrawn's methods. Instead, the show might introduce new ways to travel between galaxies. This could include ideas from the older Star Wars stories like Legends, to explain their unexpected journey. In the Star Wars Legend stories, there's already a way to travel between galaxies using something called Infinity Gates. These were created by an early alien race called the Qua. These gates could instantly transport people and ships across the galaxy. The Qua were originally from Dathomir, the same planet where the Night Sisters lived. Interestingly, the Night Sisters' original home was the extragalactic world of Peridea before they moved to Dathomir. In Legends, the Night Sisters took control of the powerful Infinity Gates after the Qua were killed off. The connection between the Infinity Gates and the Night Sisters could make sense in the canon, especially now, after Ahsoka explored other galaxies. The witches have become important for intergalactic travel. So, the idea of using the Infinity Gates from Star Wars Legends could be brought back to explain how characters, like the kids in Skeleton Crew, end up in the Star Wars galaxy. If Star Wars brings back Infinity Gates, it could open the door to amazing adventures, especially between different galaxies. Imagine a group of kids stumbling upon a forgotten star temple, accidentally ending up in the known Star Wars galaxy. Now their quest becomes finding another Infinity Gate to get back home, and that's where Jude Law's Jedi character might help. Beyond Skeleton Crew, having these canonical Infinity Gates could let Star Wars dive into more intergalactic adventures. This expands the story possibilities a lot. Starting with Ahsoka, exploring new galaxies could be the next big thing in Star Wars. So when Skeleton Crew hits Disney+, Plus, it could continue this exciting concept of intergalactic travel. In the exclusive Star Wars, Skeleton Crew trailer revealed at Star Wars Celebration 2023, it was unveiled that Jude Law will be playing a Jedi. The story will revolve around four kids, portrayed by Kiriana Kratta, Robert Timothy Smith, Ravi Cabot Conyers, and Ryan Kira Armstrong, who embark on an adventure with Jude Law's Jedi character. The cast also includes Kerry Condon and Tunde Adibimpe. The trailer gave a glimpse of Marty Matulis's Vane, a space pirate who survived a conflict with Din Djarin in The Mandalorian Season 3. This suggests that Skeleton Crew might feature more familiar faces, possibly linked to the Empire through these pirates. The mix of new characters and connections to existing Star Wars lore adds an extra layer of excitement to the upcoming series. Star Wars Skeleton Crew is a coming-of-age story about four kids from a small planet who get lost in space, giving a unique perspective compared to the bigger adventures in the Skywalker movies or The Mandalorian. Even though it's not a kids' show, it draws inspiration from 80s coming-of-age films like The Goonies. The series promises a mix of light-hearted moments, despite having darker plot elements. 
With a budget larger than popular shows like The Mandalorian, Disney seems confident that Skeleton Crew will be well received by both kids and adults, offering a different, enjoyable experience in the Star Wars universe. Skeleton Crew is set to bring a bunch of fresh characters into the Star Wars galaxy, making it the first live-action Disney Plus show to do so. The series aims to showcase how kids navigate the uncertain times of the Mandalorian era after the Galactic Civil War. This promises a thrilling and different perspective on the galaxy, highlighting its dangers and surprises. Moreover, Skeleton Crew is expected to connect with an upcoming Mandalorian-era movie featuring heroes like Din Djarin and Ahsoka Tano facing Grand Admiral Thrawn. It's likely that the characters from Skeleton Crew will play a part in this movie, weaving their own stories into the larger narrative that Dave Filoni is crafting. While setting the stage for this cinematic adventure, Skeleton Crew has its own exciting journey to offer, making it a must-watch addition to the Star Wars TV lineup on Disney+. The release of Star Wars Skeleton Crew has faced some unexpected delays, now set for 2024 raising questions among fans. Despite wrapping up filming in January 2023 without disruptions from the industry strikes, the show has seen multiple postponements. Originally slated for a November 2023 release, with hints at a possible December launch, the absence of the expected trailer has fueled speculation about behind-the-scenes developments. Jaleel White, a cast member, hinted at a December release, aligning with expectations for a festive debut. Lucasfilm showcased Skeleton Crew at Star Wars Celebration, hinting at an imminent trailer release, but it's yet to see the light of day. The unusual delays have stirred curiosity, leaving fans eager to uncover the mysteries surrounding Jude Law's mysterious Jedi in this unique Amblin-style coming-of-age show set in the expansive Star Wars galaxy. Disney and Lucasfilm have stayed quiet about Star Wars, Skeleton Crew, fueling lots of rumors about it being delayed. Now, a recent Disney press release confirmed that both the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew are set for a 2024 release, though the exact months aren't specified. What's interesting is that the press release is organized chronologically, and the Acolyte is mentioned before Skeleton Crew, hinting that it might not be coming soon. There's talk that Skeleton Crew could now be coming out in Christmas 2024, and the order in the press release adds to the mystery. It seems like something unusual is happening behind the scenes at Lucasfilm. The delay of Star Wars Skeleton Crew has left fans wondering why. While a Christmas release aligns well with the show's style, the initial delays made sense due to industry strikes. However, the recent pushback hints at something beyond the strikes. It's likely there have been changes, possibly requiring reshoots. Skeleton Crew is set in the New Republic era and shifts in Lucasfilm's plans after The Mandalorian Season 2 might be affecting it. Dave Filoni's recent promotion to Chief Creative Officer could also be a factor. Despite being eagerly anticipated, the future of Skeleton Crew is uncertain, with hopes that Disney will provide more updates soon. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.